Hey guys, what's up? KLN here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're an ultimate team and today we have an 18 unrated player of the month Paulo Dybala review for you guys. So he did win the Serie A player of the month award and I love Dybala in real life for whatever reason. So I decided to do him, put him in the team and get this video out to you guys. So I've gotten with the links of Benasse, Loftus Cheek and Jave Zanetti actually to get him on for chemistry. When it comes down to the player bio, he is 5 foot 10 tall, high low work rate, 4 star skills, 3 star weak foot, left footed primarily with the mostly explosive accelerate type coming in at just under 90,000 coins. He can start as striker, cam and centre forward, Roma, Syria and Argentine links as well. When it comes down to the attribute details, I think it's pretty obvious that I'm going to go with the hunter camp style. Swim speed goes up to 90, acceleration up to 98, attack positioning up to 91, finishing to 96, shot power to 93, coupled with the 94 long shots, max out volleys and max out penalties. I'm expecting the shooting on the card to be absolutely ridiculous. Passing looks phenomenal, 95 vision, 92 free kick accuracy with 90 short pass and 93 curve. The key stats in that situation. Dribbling looks ridiculous. The best part of the card. 91 agility with 93 balance. 96 ball control. 93 dribbling. The composure and reactions aren't the best at 82. But it will have to do. The stamina and the physical is not great. 76 stam. Hopefully he can still last the full 90. Just having a quick look at the playstyles. He does have the flair plus playstyle. So I'm going to try this card out. At Cam and Striker in a 4 on 2 on 2 narrow. So, without any further ado, let's come straight into the game. The highlights with 89 rated player of the month, Paolo Dybala, and starting off this video with an assist. A perfectly weighted pass on his right foot in behind 2 on 2 Fati, who does end up scoring. But onto the next clip here, can he maybe get us level in this match? It's a great ball played through. Here is Dybala, and he loops it over the goalkeeper and into the back of the net. The perfect chip shot from the Argentine maestro and we do get a goal in this video the first goal of this video and hopefully he can continue as we started here he drops deep gets that pass into Salah great control good dribbling gets it into Dybala La Croqueta into space and the power shot well actually a very powerful shot ends up in the back of the net afterwards good finish and the signature celebration to go with it here Bukayo Saka has it still in the same game here Dybala is running alongside him this one gets into Dybala little fake shot into space and loops it again beautifully over the goalkeeper a Messi-esque type of finish right there and we have another goal still in the same game here actually we're not done just yet Matip finds Loftus cheek this might be the best goal of this video gets that into Paolo Dybala pops it up over Quadrado Goes for the power shot on the volley and finds the back of the net. Absolutely ridiculous goal from Paolo Dybala. He's got 99 volleys and, well, it clearly shows. Really puts his laces through that. From 19 meters out, he hits it at approximately 115 kilometers per hour. What a finish from Dybala. And we get another goal. On to the next match here. Dybala comes in with a pretty good interception. And you know what? I'm going to test out the Trevella on the card and... He outside foots that to perfection over the goalkeeper and into the back of the net. Absolutely no chance. Top bins from Dybala and we do end up scoring. And well, to cap off the first half of this video, wriggles away from one. Goes to the finesse shot and he scores the finesse shot as well. This guy is absolutely ridiculous. He is absolutely ridiculous. There's no other words to describe it. He is absolutely phenomenal. Two great goals and three actually absolutely insane goals but can we get a hat-trick in this game yes we can right place at the right time collects the pass and just wraps that into the near post good finish the swoo celebration to go with it this guy had enough he pauses and he does end up quitting but heading on to what i think is the last game of this video loftus cheek gets that into dibala i'm just going to test out the dribbling on the card here by the way it's the second last game not the last game but one two here with dominic silver slide keeps the ball going Keeps it close to his feet and unfortunately we are denied but great dribbling there from Dybala in the first place to get into that position. Keeps the ball basically attached to his foot like glue and it is an absolutely wonderful run that unfortunately doesn't end up in a goal but this does. Salah plays it into him. This guy moves his keeper and luckily enough I was able to redirect the shot to the middle of the goals otherwise that would have been a pretty simple save for the goalkeeper. Onto the next clip, unfortunately not a goal, but puts the defenders on the floor. Goes for the green hind finesse shot and he hits the post. But great dribbling there. 
makes sure Kunde just takes out Van Dijk and um, unfortunately he doesn't end up scoring from it. But yeah, it's a pretty good turn, it's a pretty good pass. Here's Loftus Cheek from outside the box and he's able to whoop that finish shot into the back of the net and Dybala does get, if I'm not mistaken, the final assist of this video. But can we get another goal here? Salah gets that back into Dybala, wraps around, I think that is Maldini. And the finish at the end of it is pretty spectacular into the near post. But we're not done just yet. This is immediately afterwards. We win the ball back with Benasse. Fati finds Dybala. Digs that into Salah. Soboslai plays it over the top. Here's Paolo Dybala with a phenomenal first time volley on a three-star weak foot into the back of the net. And with that being said, that was the last clip of this video. And it is time now to review this 89 rated player of the month, Paolo Dybala card. So first things first, looking at the player bio, he's managed in just 5 games to score 12, well, get 12 goal contributions, which is absolutely phenomenal, 10 goals and 2 assists, more than 2 goal contributions per game, and I did actually have to end up bringing him off the bench for the first couple of games because I hadn't done Ben Arce's SPCF to put this guy into the team. Now when it comes down to the best Kemsal, I would say the Hunter Kemsal is the way to go, but if you do want to make him a little bit more dribbly on the ball, you can give him the Maestro Kempsal to boost the reactions as much as possible. But for now, I'm going to go through the stats with the Hunter Kempsal and let you guys know if it really is worth the Hunter Kempsal or not. So, pace on the card with the Hunter Kempsal feels phenomenal, acceleration is great and sprint speed is fast enough for him to run in behind. So pace gets an 8.9 out of 10. I think he feels very quick with the Hunter Kempsal. And obviously the 98 acceleration with the 91 agility and 93 balance is a big plus to that as well as the technical play style that he does have. When it comes down to the shooting, phenomenal. Left foot outside the box, volley, finish shot, Trevella, inside the box, chip shot, power shot, normal shot, it just all goes into the back of the net. So shooting, ridiculous, 9.3 out of 10, I think is absolutely phenomenal. Passing, 9 out of 10, I think is the way to go. He can cross, he can make short passes, he can make long passes can do pretty much everything on the ball so passing is phenomenal dribbling is insane i think he moves very very quickly on the ball one of the best dribblers i've used this game i said that about his inform i did review that the ata rated inform and do i think that's the case with this player of the month card well obviously it's better than the inform so yes that is definitely the case so dribbling does get a 9.4 out of 10 this guy is phenomenal with the micro camp style if you were to give that to him to boost the reactions it would obviously be even better because reactions isn't the only thing that it does boost. So dribbling, honestly, phenomenal. I really don't think it needs a boost. He feels very responsive on the ball anyway. Physical, not great. He does get pretty tired towards the end of games. But in the time that he is on the pitch for, he does end up winning you the match with whatever he can do. So physical does get, in my opinion, a 6.5 out of 10. Honestly, the stamina isn't that much of a problem because he does have a low defensive work rate. So if you don't have the ball, it's not like he's going to be running around like a headless chicken to win it back for you. He's going to stand there and wait for you to win the ball back with your defenders, which is what you should be doing anyway. So when it comes down to the price on the card, do I think he's worth the 85,000 coins that this FPC is worth? Yes, 100%. There is a lot of ways to get fodder. So if you guys do get decent rated dupes like 85s and 84 rated, 100% go ahead dump them in this Dybala SPC if you don't start him bring him on off the bench and he will score goals for you He will definitely score goals for you and win you matches even if you just bring him on for 30 minutes So honestly this card is completely worth it. If you rock a Serie A team I 100% recommend him for your team if you don't it is pretty difficult to get him on full chemistry in your team I had to go and buy a couple of players and actually go and complete a whole other SPC that I wasn't really fond of completing but Actually, Ben Asse is, is pretty good nonetheless, so I do recommend this card and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So until then guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.